So DTFT symmetries. These are all going to assume that we're working with a real X of N as, as we will in this course. Firstly, realize that any X of N, you know how to decompose it into an even portion and an odd portion. Remember that that even portion is just one half of X of N plus X of minus N and the odd portion is one half of X of N minus X of minus N. So once you do this, realize that it has a DTFT that's composed of two parts. In general, this is, this is a complex number. It's got a real part and It's got J times this imaginary part. Turns out that the real part is due to the even and the odd part causes the imaginary. And once you realize that the, the, the symmetry rules are really straightforward. The symmetry rules say that if you've got an even, a purely even X of N, then your DTFT is gonna be purely real. And if you've got an odd, X of N, your DTFT will be purely imaginary. Now, all that means that assuming that you've got your, your real X of N, then that means that no matter what kind of real X of N is, you know, even or odd or any symmetry, it means that your DTFT will always have conjugate symmetry. And that conjugate symmetry means that the magnitude of your DTFT will be even around that omega equals zero vertical line. And the angle of X of E to the J omega will always be odd around that omega equals zero vertical line. So get used to seeing when we draw DTFTs. Problem is drawing a DTFT is hard because in general, the DTFT is complex. So I'll generally have to draw either real part, imaginary part. The real part is always gonna be even and the imaginary part will always be odd and always around omega equals zero. But normally we don't draw DTFTs as real or imaginary parts. We usually draw them in polar form as magnitudes and angles. And so get used to seeing these magnitudes, yeah, right over here in the upper right, get used to seeing the magnitude being drawn as having mirror symmetry. This particular H low pass is purely real. So its magnitude is its own value and the magnitudes will always be symmetric.